Dmitry Lazarev of the Ukraine. Here's the referee. There is Dilfuza Bekova of Uzbekistan suiting up in the blue corner ahead of the opening bell. So we're underway then. Women's 60 kilogram lightweight action between boxes from Hungary and Uzbekistan. The woman wearing red is Rebecca Dobos, 18 years of age, reigning national champion of Hungary. Took a European junior bronze medal in 2019. Her opponent is Dilfuza Bekova of Uzbekistan. So bobbing and weaving her way forwards is Dobos, but patient back foot punch picking in evidence from Dilfuza Bekova, 18 years of age. to the boxing ring as a national championship silver medalist from the Uzbek national championships that were held last year. Dobos looking to crowd her opponents on the ropes. She matching the accomplishments of her opponent from Hungary by coming away with a continental bronze as she's skipping back and forth, back foot to front foot. Bekova trying to disrupt and distract, distract her opponent. Two boxers with plenty of international experience competing on the global stage here for the first time. Kielce 2021. Nice left jab landed by Bekova. Holding and hitting from the boxer in blue. She gets back to range looking to establish her own straight punches. She's the slightly taller of the two. You can see it seems to be her preference to be on the back foot if the opening two minutes are anything to go by thus far. Dobos on the front foot, closing the distance, looking to walk down her opponent. But standing her ground now and landing with a cuffing right hand, which may have been with the inside of the glove to render it a slap, was Bekova. Nice use of the feet from Bekova, just to call the, cause Dobos to fall short, but that meant that Bekova wasn't in range either. So no successful offense landed by either boxer. So Bekova holding her feet, was caught by a right hand as Dobos came in. It's untidy on the inside. Dobos trying to work away. The 10-second clapper has sounded. And there's the bell to conclude the first round in this 60-kilogram lightweight contest in the round of 16. And it is Bekova who has taken it across the board, 10-9 from all five of the scoring judges as we take a look at some of the action from that opening round. Hmm. <laughs> Seconds out, please. 
Çalışma. Düşün değil mi? Round two. Into the second round we go then. He'll use that back of that, starting with a good left jab. After sweeping the open round unanimously, Dobos and her team will be aware of that, and that's why she's come out with greater urgency. But she's been met and indeed matched and raised because Bekova landing with some terrific punches, uppercuts underneath, jolting the head backwards of Dobos. And her aggression being neutralized by some terrific pot shot punch picking from the boxer in blue. That's a good single right hand, and then the same shot again as Bekova's back touched the ropes. Dobos with a double right hand success, rolling her way into punching range, waiting for it with hands that are ready to strike from her belt line. Here's Bekova. And then Bekova with a rear forward foray. Again, appears to be principally a back foot boxer. She lands with a flashy right uppercut on the retreat. A oh, risky tactic there from Bekova, leaning on and just holding her arms out in perpendicular fashion. And that presents a whole side for Dobos to try and tee off on if she elected to do so because the referee didn't call stop or break. Dobos landing a left hand. For the uppercut is Bekova. So Bekova again, employing good movements of the legs, just skitting around the perimeter of the boxing ring. Takes a right hand there from Dobos, standing and waiting in the corner, and Dobos accommodating up by getting the better of that exchange. Nice left hand catapulting off the ropes, landed by Bekova, looped around the corner and around the outside of the right hand of Dobos. <laughs> the referee's warning Bekova with the call of no holding. And while she wasn't holding, Dobos was looking to score with her own offense. Because again, she held her arms out perpendicular fashion. Bekova backing off and then re-entering the pocket once again. That's a beautiful right uppercut turned underneath by Bekova. The chin of Dobos was wide open and Bekova found it with that right hand at close range. Bekova continuing to try to bob and weave away on the inside, but she's made to pay the price with a left jab and then a left-right combination on the bell. Very good start and conclusion to the round by Dilfusa Bekova of Uzbekistan wearing blue. So 10-9 for four of the scoring judges. Judge E preferring the work of Dobos in that round. So it's 1919 for that particular observer, 2018 in favor of the boxer from Uzbekistan after two completed rounds. Second out, please. Round three. Well, this battle of continental bronze medalist from the 2019 edition European Championship bronze for Dobos wearing red, Asian Championship bronze for Bekova in blue has proven to be an absorbing affair indeed. Dobos taking a share of the second round for Judge E. The other four judges have scored both of the completed rounds in favor of Bekova, who's produced some really eye-catching punches. The right uppercut in particular, and there's a right hand again as she was backing up. Right hand over the top, 
And that's when she gets onto the front foot while she's letting her hands go. Generally, she's the boxer on the back foot, seemingly trying to set traps to draw in her opponent just like that. But then once she starts to let her hands go and those punches are flowing in clusters, she's able to walk forwards at the same time and sustain the pressure in bursts. But it's Bekova who needs a big final round. As, excuse me, it's Dobos who needs a big final round as Bekova lands another good right hand. Often not setting that shot up with a jab, just trusting her range and reflexes to fire it home without setting it up. There was a lead left hand. Landed with the bent arm and then followed by a right hand. Dobos remaining undeterred, continuing to try to walk down her opponent. Bekova, well, that's a dangerous tactic, turning your back while on the ropes. Dobos would have been well within her rights before the call of stop to haul off on what would have been effectively an open target and land free punches. Only friends you've got up there in the boxing ring are your left and your right. Can't expect any favors from your opponent. As long as it's within the rules, keep punching and obey the referee's commands. But most importantly, protect yourself at all times. And on occasions in this contest, Bekova hasn't done that. Demonstrating that she's not holding on. She's held her arms out straight. And here in the third round, she's got her back on the ropes, turned away and went walkabout. Though Boss would have been well within her rights to tee off and land legal punches. So closing seconds of the third and final round. Though Boss hasn't done enough for my money to overturn the deficit that she faced on four of the five scorecards. Back of her catapulting herself off the ropes. And Dobos continuing to close the distance with quick feet and look to maraud her way forwards. But the insurance that the insurance that Bekova got in the bag over the course of the first two rounds, for my money, will be enough to see her through to the quarterfinal stage of the women's lightweight tournament. Some of the action from that third and final round. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Bekova Dilfusa. And here's confirmation of a points victory for Dilfusa Bekova. 5-0 unanimous points decision verdict in her favor, 28-29 across the board. A fair indication as to just how competitive it was. You see Dobos taking the final round Outs for 